Hey girl, hey! It is your girl Jamie Drew with the girlfriendexperience.org and jamiedrewart.com. Do you guys hear that noise in the background? That is my landscaper, yes. <laughs> I decided to go live on a Wednesday night knowing full well that my landscaper was going to be here. I forgot, you guys, I forgot. He'll be gone soon. I promise. I swore he was just in the front. I went to the back and now it sounds like he's in the back again. But get on in here. You know what we're discussing tonight, girl, guys, we're talking about clout chasing. So popular in today's world. And it's really messing a lot of folks up. So we're going to have a good old honest conversation tonight. I want y'all to get up in here, get your glass of wine, get your glass of water. It's hump day. It's hump day. This is the night for you to unwind. This is the night for you to take a break. You know, just relax. Listen, there's a few of you who are super opinionated and I want to hear your opinions so I want you to email me, okay? I'm going to pop my email address up here in just a second, if I can get it typed in. It's a really long email address, you guys, but it's worth it. All right, info at thegirlfriendexperience.org. If you want to be a part of this live broadcast, I'm talking about right now, watching me right now, you have questions, things you want to talk about, you want to chime in on the topic. Girl, let's talk. Guy. Let's talk, okay? We're talking about clout chasing tonight um, and how it's really keeping you broke, okay? It's the number one cause of broke assness. <laughs> and I know you ain't trying to be in that club. We're trying to level up in our lives, right? So the first we're gonna talk, thing we're going to do is define clout clout chasing, all of that. You know, this is a social media day and age and everybody is worried about like, you know, how they look on the internet. Like this glare, I'm telling you, that's better. Okay. Y'all listen, I don't really wear glasses. <laughs> I just think glasses are so cute. Um, and I've been wanting them since I was probably like six years old. So I wear them sometimes. Really, I, I bought these screen glasses. You know what I'm saying? I bought these so that I could black out the blue light or whatever it is on the screen. But in today's day and age of social media, you guys, everybody's trying to click trace, chase clout. And I'm really here to let you know how it's keeping your ass broke. Okay, let's talk about clout. Again, if you want to be a part of this live broadcast, don't be shy. Email me at info at thegirlfriendexperience.org. Even if you are watching this recorded, you maybe want to be on a future show. We can talk about that too. Okay. So let's get right into it. Clout. I looked this up before I came, y'all. I did my research. That's influence or power, especially in politics or business. Okay. Nowadays, it doesn't even have to be for politics or business. People are just trying to, you know, keep up with the Joneses, right? Keep up with the Kardashians, keep up with whoever they're seeing on social media, right? Okay, they're trying to gain influence. Everybody wants to be an influencer now. Why? What's the reason? Let's talk about the chase and clout chaser, okay? Somebody who is pursuing in order to catch up or catch or catch up with. OK, so if you a clout chaser, you are pursuing something in order to gain influence or power to catch up with the Joneses. OK, and really, you need to be working on yourself. OK, this is poison and you just don't even realize it. So listen, 
here's the full out definition in my words or well, not even my words. I did <laughs> not my words, but to my understanding of what clout chasing is, right? Comparison to one's neighbor as a benchmark for social class or the accumulation of material goods. To fail to keep up with the Joneses is perceived as demonstrating socioeconomic or cultural inferiority. You guys, you have to stop doing this. You have to stop doing this because it's really keeping you down, comparing yourself to others, keeping you broke, okay? Um, you know, I recently had a conversation with someone that was comparing themselves to me. Y'all, literally making fun of me because I choose not to have an iPhone. I'm a Samsung kind of gal, okay? I've got two of them. Um, and this person didn't have anything going on, didn't have and doesn't have a career going on um, in a bad financial situation, um, not bringing in any income, <sighs> buying things they can't afford. Girl, it gets deep. It gets deep, girl. And, uh, you know, make it fun of me because I don't have an iPhone. I choose not to. And that that's that's the problem. That's the problem. So let's talk about one of the things we're talking about, you know, broke assness. <laughs> put the put the kids, but if you got kids that can't hear the word ass, put them away, put them, put them to bed. I know it's only seven o'clock right now, but put them to bed. Buying things you can't afford. Okay. There is like there's some really comfortable shoes out there, I want to say. There's some really nice purses out there. And there's some really amazing looking clothes out there and cars. But some of you can't afford it. Okay. And see, the, the thing is, you're buying it and you may not even realize this. You're buying it because you're trying to impress somebody else, live up to a certain standard, okay? If you don't have a job or a career or a business, why are you buying $350 pairs of shoes? And flip-flops at that, okay? Not even the kind that... Um, you know, that you can wear every day that you can go somewhere in or let's say let's say you got some work boots. Right. Because there's some things you have to spend a lot of money on for investment purposes. Right. If you got some work boots or something like that, I would be able to understand, you know, why it is that you might want to spend so much money, spend a ha such a hefty coin on some shoes. But, you know, if not, then why are you doing it? Um, and it's most often to get attention from other people. You know, that's the problem that we're running into is trying to get attention from other people. But it's not a part of your business. Now, I'll be I'll be the first to admit, you know, I'm out here every day on the grind trying to get attention from other people. Well, because that's a part of what I do for business, okay? But um, if you aren't running a business, why is it that you're trying to get attention from other people? Somebody chime in here. Again, if you wanna be a part of this live broadcast, if you have something to say, okay? If you want my advice, if you wanna hear what I have to say, Send me an email right now, info at thegirlfriendexperience.org. And I will invite you to this show right here, right now. And we can have a conversation. So let's get back to it. Buying things that you really can't afford. Okay. Um, I know some of y'all with, you know, 
badass cars, badass vehicles, you know. Um, but you you riding up to subpar living. Well, what did you buy that car for? You got work to do. You know, one of the things that, you know, my parents always instilled in me is, you know, your vehicle is going to get you from point A to B, right? But your home is where you're spending all the time, is where you're having all the comforts. It's where you go after you've had a long day, right? So you got to make that the thing that looks nice and feels nice and is the most comfortable to you. Not that car that you're driving around on the exterior for other people to to see, you know. I remember one time I was dating this guy, right? And he took me to this really nice restaurant. And (laughs) y'all, the restaurant that I pulled up to, it had valet parking. And I wasn't used to valet parking at that time. This this was, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. I, I just I just wasn't, okay? And I pulled up and I was calling him and I was like, I I, I don't know what to do. I can't I can't park my car because it's valet. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, my car is not nice enough to get parked at the valet. Yeah, it was so silly. It was so silly. I was like basing my value off of my car. Let me let me take this earring off because I feel like it keeps clicking into the microphone. I was basing my value of myself on that car and comparing it to the other cars that were going into the valet. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing that it's just a freaking car, number one. I'm at the restaurant, might as well get the free valet parking, number two. And number three, the freaking valet parking guys might not even have a car at all. And I'm sitting up here not wanting to get my car parked in the valet because it's not nice enough. Meanwhile, they're whipping your car around to the back area somewhere to some valet only parking section of a parking garage that nobody even cares about. I'm telling you, when you try to keep up with the Joneses, when you try to clout chase, when you try to gain influence or importance without having that backing, it will mess you up. It'll mess you up. And it and it really speaks to your self-esteem. You got low self-esteem. Yes, you do. I'm telling you. You got low self-esteem if you're buying things that you can't afford, if, you, if you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Okay? You're equating your value to the perception of someone else who's viewing you having those things. Yeah. You are buying things that you can't afford. When's the last time you looked at your budget? When's the last time you went and bought something because it looked good? How many times have you gone shopping with the girls, right? Knowing you ain't have no money, but you just had to buy something because everybody else was and you didn't want to look broke. So, because you didn't want to look broke, you you got even more broke by buying something that you couldn't afford. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> Stop clout chasing. It's keeping you broke. You know, it's like I said, it speaks to our level of self-esteem. If you're sitting up there digging yourself into a deeper hole just because of what somebody else may think of you, you need to check your self-esteem. You need to figure out what you got going on here because it's, it's, it's not right, okay? And we know the rabbit hole that low self-esteem can lead us down. 
being in relationships with people we shouldn't be in, letting people treating us any old kind of way <clears throat> because we lack self-value, running your bank account into the negative to keep up with somebody. Don't do that, okay? By the way, check me out on jamiedrewart.com. I have Afterpay and that lets you pay for my more expensive pieces in installments. Actually, it lets you pay for everything in installments. You can buy something on there for $20 and pay for it in installments. But hey, know your budget. Knowing your budget will help you out. You know, look at it, look it in the face and see what you can afford. Let's talk about the next thing, showing an exaggerated version of yourself online. Who child? I could go on and on and on about this. If you want to talk about this with me live on this show right here, right now, hop into my email, info at thegirlfriendexperience.org. I'd love to bring you on the live show. Send me an email right now and I will invite you into this show. You can still remain anonymous. Yes, you can. You can stop the camera just like you do on those Zoom meetings at work. OK, you can stop the camera. No one will see your face. We'll see your voice. It'll be like a live call in. OK, it's so like, call me, girl. Call me. OK, showing an exaggerated version of yourself online. Let me tell y'all something right now. I'm in my art room. And for those of you who follow me on social media, you have seen my art room. It's not, it's all right, but it's not completely neat because it's art. There's paint in places, there's stencils in places, there's paper towels and paint cans and varnish and hey, I got to have my materials. But guess what? I'm only gonna show you this square, baby. <laughs> you know how you know that uh, that person who's overweight that fat girl, that fat guy, no shade, okay? Because I got some jiggulation too, okay? You know people that aren't satisfied with their weight. How do you see them online? Just like this, right? Close up in the camera, baby. Why? They don't want to pull back, you know what I'm saying? And show you that wide angle, OK, they they want you to have a certain perception of them. And that's what clout chasing is all about. You ever seen that person, you know, taking a picture in a sexy outfit and she's in the mirror and then all behind her is, you know, a mattress on the floor and the house is dirty and her kids running around with a saggy pamper. Yeah, she's showing an exaggerated version of herself online. She's showing just what you want her to see. And that's what people do. That's, that's what everybody does. So I want you to get it out of your head that you need to be competing with those people. You need to be in your own lane. You need to stand out. You need to do what you do best. Okay, stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because they for sure ain't worried about you. Listen, my mother always taught me to stand out in a crowd anyway. And that is really, you know, that's really how you get yourself together is to stand out from the crowd, is to be away from the crowd, is to use your own mind and do your own thing. You know how they say it's lonely at the top, greatness requires separation, all of that good stuff. Well, you can't spend your time if you do want to be great, okay? Where are my BITs? Where are my BITs? Okay, visionaries, innovators, trailblazers. Drop me some love in the comments. Give me some likes. OK, listen, if you are a VIT, then I know I'm talking to the right person. You don't need to be wasting your time. You need to be putting your energy into endeavors that will make you better, 
whether they make you better financially, spiritually, physically, whatever it is, you got to get those things in check. You got to get your life in check. You don't have time to worry about your life and the Joneses' life and your neighbor's life and your girlfriend's life and this person and that person. You know, that time you spend scrolling is that same amount of time that somebody else spends time producing some work. Okay. Posting pictures on social media all the time, but your house dirty. Posting pictures on social media. Look what I bought, all of this, but your credit's terrible. And, and the funny thing is, a lot of people really don't want to do anything about it. They're not actually taking the time to fix it. They're just wallowing in it. Do you know how many people that I've had discussions with that want better for their lives, but are not willing to actually do the thing that is going to make their lives better? Before you can get your riches from the outside, you need to work on the riches of the inside. Okay, before you can get the things you want on the outside, you need to work on you as an individual. Get your house in order. Yeah, that's what you have to do. I was just watching, I, and I don't know why I just recently discovered this guy. I recently discovered this guy named Gary V. Look him up online. He's just a hell of a motivator, okay? Look him up, you'll see what I'm talking about, especially if you're interested in being in business, okay? <clears throat> you know, he just helps you to get out of your head and really get in the game. And he talks about, you know, some people not being there. They're so embarrassed to take a step back and get themselves together. that They're not willing to do what it takes to get to that success level in life. OK, so. You're so hell bent on having the biggest, nicest house and the biggest, nicest car and the biggest, nicest clothes instead of scaling down, getting something smaller or going back to live with someone else or, you know, um, getting cheaper clothes, getting clothes from Walmart or Target or TJ Maxx, baby, don't sleep on TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and all of that. OK, so that you can get yourself together to be in a financial place to stop taking all these vacations or whatever it is that you're doing to drain yourself. OK, you're not willing to sacrifice all of those things to get what you really want. Short term, somebody say short term sacrifice for long term gain. OK, let me type that in. I'm typing it in, y'all, because I need y'all to see this, okay? Short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. Remember this. Screenshot it. Write it down. Get it ingrained in your head, okay? Let me tell you something. I had to go back as a 30-some and move in with my grandmother, okay? I came to a place where I wasn't doing well financially. My credit was dropping into the hole. I was, you know, knee, not even knee deep in bills, you know, up to here. And I was like trying to like, ooh, ooh, keep my head above water. Ooh, ooh. And I was like, you know what? Drastic times call for drastic measures, baby. I had to get drastic with it. I said, wriggle, wriggle, hey, grand. Can I come live with you? Sure, baby. Some of y'all need to take advantage of your grandma, okay? Went and lived at Grand's house for three years. Mm. Child, child, that hurt. That hurt living with Grand for three years. You know why? I didn't. You know, you can't just bring random company to Grand's house, you know? I shared a refrigerator. Um, 
she was a lovely person to live with, but it's nothing like having your own, your own space, your own thing to come to home to, your, your own way to be, the queen of your own castle, right? But I knew that it was necessary for me to strategize in a different way so that I could get what I needed. And that is what you need to do instead of clout chasing, okay? Don't let, don't let clout chasing get you broke, baby. Been there, done that. About to write a book about it, <laughs> okay? So I didn't just live there for three years, though, like a bump on a log, being a bum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I gave Fran a little coin. And then guess what I did? I looked at my numbers, y'all. I looked. I said, okay, I got, uh, I got this bill. I got that bill. I got this past due. I got this in collections. I got this that I ain't paid in forever. I changed my phone number on this one. And so they can't call me no more to ask me about that bill. Okay. Keeping it real. And guess what I did? I paid off those bills, baby. Okay. Because I had to look at every last one of those and see what I was doing. And see, because I couldn't live with grand forever. Okay. So I paid off those bills. Okay. Negotiated settlements, some paid off in full, whatever I had to do to get my credit up. Going whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, some of y'all are looking for the leap today. It ain't gonna happen today. But you gotta put in the work today, okay, to get what you want down the line for three years. Like I said, it took me three years to pay all this stuff off and get myself into a financial place where I could say, thank you, Grand. Now I can do for you or now I can do for somebody else or now I can really invest in myself. Now I can step out here and buy this house. OK, now I can, you know, uh, invest in my business. Now I can go out here and restart. Don't be afraid to start all over again. There's power in that. You learned from it, right? I hope so. If not, well, Juan, what are you doing it for? <laughs> what happened? You, you sitting out here struggling for no results. Wait a minute. Hold on. 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 It's somebody I got to talk to right now that's out here struggling and ain't producing no results. No, you, you, you got to strategize, okay? You have to look at the bills, pay the bills off. You might want to start with the smallest bill, okay? And then just bite away at it a little one chunk at a time, okay? But start producing results, okay? And look what that turned into for me. Listen, if you have a personal story, if you want some personal advice from me, now is the time to get it. I'm giving it for free, baby. Okay. Hop in my emails, info at thegirlfriendexperience.org and come on this live show and ask me whatever question it is that you have to ask me. But listen, I was talking about short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. Okay. Look, look at what it afforded me now. Now I'm running multiple businesses, multiple streams of income, homeowner, you know, and thriving and headed for more. But had I not taken that step back, I would be in the same exact place that I was three, four and five and six years ago. OK, so speaking of long term gain, I got to gain some more coins. So it's time for a brief commercial break, okay? Start it up.
All right, y'all, and I'm Biggity back. Email me at info at thegirlfriendexperience.org if you want to be a part of this show. Listen, clout chasing is the number one cause of broke ass mess. We were just talking about short-term sacrifice for long-term gain, and that's the way you really do it. Stop showing an exaggerated version of yourself online, okay? Clout chasing requires you to spend too much time looking on the outside, okay? You you need to look inward. You need to be working on yourself. You need to be working on your health. You need to be working on your water intake or the amount of sleep that you're getting or how you're interacting with your children or how you're doing you know, in your career or your entrepreneurial endeavors. There's so many different <laughs> things to worry about with yourself you know, rather than worrying about other people, there's so many things, okay, that you can do to be looking inward instead of wasting that time looking outward. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to do some self-assessment, okay? Ask yourself, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going with all of the clothes that you're buying? That's what I want to know. Where are you going with those clothes? Are you putting all of them on or do you have some things in your closet with tags on them? Do you have some things in your closet that you haven't worn in years? OK, um, or, or, or that you never wore. OK, or that you, you, you know, you, you bought on impulse, like I said, because you were out shopping with somebody. Think about all that wasted money and what you could have done and what you could have invested in instead. OK. Are you actively using all the items that you have? Think about that. If this is speaking to you, then you know you have some work to do. You have some cleaning up to do. Right. What does your house look like? Who do you live with? Are you living in somebody's basement, but, you know, pretending to have it all online? Stop clout chasing. It's time to get up out of the basement. Now, if you're in the basement hustling and grinding and starting a business and making it work and, and living as a minimalist, okay, I support you. But if not, then you need some self-assessment. Listen, you guys, I remember one time I started dating this guy. I dated him for probably about a week or two, okay? And... um. <laughs> He had this real nice car, y'all. And I guess if you think about it, I was cloud chasing because I was like, oh, okay. He, got, mm, he must be doing a little something. I equated the car with him, you know, having his head in the game, but he didn't. Uh -uh. He had his head in that car. It was probably like a... um. It was like one of those nice cars. Like, what is it? The 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 I eight fifty or something like that. It's a BMW. Okay, really nice car. You know, really showy car. One of those cars. Like, you know, you can like you could. It's like a show car, like a a nice car. Okay, but then he turned around and was telling me about. <clears throat> oh, some struggles he was having in his business or something like that. And can I get a loan for him in my name? Y'all, y'all know that didn't last long, right? Y'all know that ended with the quickness. Okay. I'm like, he out here clout chasing. I guess, you know what? It worked for him because it gets it got him the ladies, you know. But can you keep the ladies? Because there's nothing under the hood. I had the nerve, y'all, to ask me to help him get a loan in my name now. One alone in my name. And he got this, I don't know, $350,000 car or whatever it is. Child, I had to dump him fast. I don't know whose car that was or whose car he was borrowing or whatever it was. Had to let that thing go. <laughs> But that's going to keep y'all see it was keeping him, bro. You see that? I mean, because who are you trying to impress? Right. When you're out here trying to impress somebody, you're obviously trying to impress somebody that is broken than you.
Because you're not in you're not impressing anybody who has more going on than you. You have to maybe impress by what you're doing. They've already got things going on. They've already got they've already got their lives together. They're already doing well. They're already investing in their businesses. They're already making profits, you know, returns on their investment and everything. Or they're healthy. They're happy. You know, they've got their significant other, whatever it is, you know. So how is it that you're impressing that person? You're not. You're only impressing the people who have it worse off than you. See, that's what you're doing, okay? You, you, you're dipping back down, okay? Hey, I, I'm trying to tell you what the real is. You need to understand that. <sighs> I hope y'all got it today. I, I hope you uh, this resonated with somebody. I hope somebody can take this lesson on um, don't forget to email me at info at the girlfriend experience.org and also check me out on my website, jamiedrewart.com. I want to hear from you on the girlfriend experience about what topics, what things it is that you want to talk about, what you need help with, how you need to grow. Um, I'm here for these girlfriend chats. I'm here for you. Okay. So let's keep talking. Let's keep doing this thing. And I'll see you next time, okay? So until next time, everybody, peace and blessings. And I'm out of here.